Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another video, and this is me answering your guys' questions. This is gonna be a, just a chill video of me answering your guys' questions from Instagram and Twitter that I asked a while back. There were a lot of questions, but I can only answer so many, so I will try to do as many as I can. Let's start with this first question because everybody asked me this on Instagram and Twitter, um, so I can't really give any specific names, but here we go. How did you make your way into JK Films? Um, back in college, my high school friends, roommates, boyfriend who I met at my high school friend's birthday party uh, was in the film program at Cal State Long Beach and I was too and so we met up uh, that at the party and we started talking and stuff like that I realized we were both in film um, and then nothing really happened for like at least another six months and after those six months he asked me to edit one of his videos for his class and so I edited that video and he liked it. Uh, I never really saw the finished product with the music and I've been like a couple years and still waiting for it. That's okay. And then sometime later, I think in my fourth year of college, he hit me up again. Hey, do you want to edit for some YouTube group? Oh yeah, sure, who are they? Oh, they're uh, Just Kidding News. They're a YouTube group that blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh yeah, sure. Um, can I get the contact information? So he gave me Michael's contact information. Um, so I emailed Michael, very professional email, and then Michael just responded pretty casually like, oh yeah, sure, blah, 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 blah. Here's some footage, edit this. Here's some examples of what we do. So I watched those, and then I eventually just figured it out. And my first news edit took like 12, 13 hours. And <laughs> Grandma Hooker news. Whoa. Grandma and Hooker. Yeah, um, especially because of the first one and trying to make an impression so you have to work very hard on the meticulous details. And then I got notes back and it was a long laundry list of notes. Then I was like, okay, yeah, can I get a second chance to rework these, uh, your notes into a second version of the video? And Michael said, yeah, sure. And so I did that. Eventually, Michael liked it and I got picked up, came to the office one day I thought it was an interview, but it was more of, hey, you already have this, and welcome to the team. And that was also the first time I met Bart. So that's how I got into JK, through just uh, a little bit of luck and just connections of knowing people. So this one is from Boring Jason on Twitter. Did you teach yourself how to edit? What editing program do you use? Premiere? Um, yes, I currently use Premiere. I did kind of teach myself how to edit, but a lot of it was also learned from other people. Uh, I learned over the course of going from Windows Movie Maker to jumping into Adobe Premiere Pro back in high school, and it's a lot of self-learning, but observing others and seeing what they do and getting tips from other people. Uh, I never really read a book on how to use Premiere, everything's just exploring the, all the options within the program and just learning from other people. This next question is from Matea Mai, I hope I said that right. Um, what exactly do you do for JK and what's your favorite part about it? So I, if you don't already know, am an editor for JK News and editor for JK Party, cam op and tech for Just Kidding Party as well. So I'm on set, I dump footage, I organize footage, uh, I'm a cam op so I just shoot, help shoot one angle of the videos, um, I edit, and yeah, that's basically what I do for JK. My favorite part about it though, I think, is being on set and seeing everything that happens during the day of. There's a lot of things that we do shoot that don't make it into the video, but that's only because that's after we yell cut and it's kind of like just extra footage that we don't, that we can't use because it doesn't apply to the actual game. Um, so it's just fun being on set and seeing how different it is compared to the final video. And if you were there and could see it live, it's just as crazy as you think, even without all the editing. This one is from cat dot underscore dot and on Instagram. Why is it called a building if it's already built? Bruh. 
This one is from Page Killer on Instagram. I have a strong desire to start making videos for YouTube, like every other person, but I feel like I have nothing to offer. I don't sing or dance or act or know much about anything. Is it a good idea to even start? First off, not everybody wants to do YouTube. Some people actually want to be a positive contribution to the world. <laughs> Second off, if you really want to do it and you're asking, is it a good idea to even start? Just go for it and do it. Don't really worry about not having a talent. I can't sing, I can't dance, I can't act, or know much about anything outside of just shooting some videos. Um, I do like technology, so that's why I'm making these tech-related videos. Just find what you really like, record yourself talking about it, something like that, and just upload it. Or just get together with your friends, uh, and just make short little videos. Maybe you don't know how to act, but maybe you have a friend who wants to act, and so you put them in your videos. It's just, just go out there and make your videos if you want to do, do YouTube. It. Just, just do, it. do it. This one comes from Princess Lupita on Instagram. What kind of person were you in high school? A loser. Rocket Cobra on Instagram asked, if you had three wishes, what would they be? You cannot ask for more wishes. I would ask for more genies, because genies are the ones who grant wishes, right? Yeah, so I would ask for more genies so I could get more wishes, and then I would always use one last wish for another genie, and then I would just have an infinite amount of wishes. But if it actually came down to not being able to wish for more genies, for more wishes, I don't know what I would really want. I mean, there's the generic, World peace, uh, and world hunger, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then the selfish thing of like, oh, I would want to, you know, be able to provide infinitely for my family, money, and all that stuff. Uh, live as comfortable as possible. Actually, yeah, that's it. I would want to live as comfortable as possible for as long as possible. Uh, using my wishes to sustain whatever life that may be. This one was asked by D period as on Instagram. Do a flip. Woo! Favorite fast food asked by Tom dot Logan underscore. Uh, in and out burger, hands down. That's it. Ladybug Lauren CX on Instagram. Do you have any suggestions for someone who would want to pursue their dream of going into film production and editing? Kind of do what you need to do to get your foot in the door and work hard so people notice how hard you're working. And as they become successful, you will also become successful because they'll be like, oh, I really like this person, so I'll just bring you with me, right? Because people help people. Um, so try to establish a lot of really good relationships with people when it comes to working in film. And I would also suggest, if you find the time, also work on your own side projects and build your reel. So if you're ever applying to something, you can showcase your video reel if you're editing or if you're directing and stuff like that. Cranokaz on Instagram asks, how can I make connections to get jobs? Connections are basically people you know. Um, how can you make connections? Be friendly, be respectful. Connections aren't hard to make. Friends are connections. Friends will help get you jobs because that's what they do too. So look to your friends for any advice if you need uh, a job in a particular thing and stuff like that. This one's asked by my name Tardet. Did the top fall over in Inception? Well, you see, I think what actually happened was Bonisha on Instagram asks, what was high school like for you? So aside from being weird kind of loser, I did a lot of uh, key club in high school, but during my senior year and my junior year, I was actually in the high school video program called the Baron Broadcast News, where we would make skits and videos and broadcast it all across the school. Um, it was interesting. Just two guys and we're having a good time, having a good time, having a good time. Just two guys and we're having a good time. Coward! Whatever, dude, dude, check, check this out, check this out. Yeah.
I'm a potato. There's Shay laughing at somebody different. Oh, you poor little baby. There's Ian helping the big brother. Oh my god, you go, girl. Uh, but it was a lot of fun to be able to... It was basically like creating my own content for a wide audience of 3,000 people once every other week. So that was definitely a lot of fun. And it was really weird to have that like celebrity status at my high school because people would be like, oh my god, it's Sean from the BBN. And it was really... Yeah, um, yeah. Dumpling Delivery asked, what is your favorite video game? Uh, that's hard. I would probably say Halo 1 uh, because I bought it for PC and I spent so many hours on it and that's what really got me into uh, playing computer games and just playing online with people. That, I think, was the game that really changed who I am, basically. Selena.Shaw asked, where do you plan on visiting next, as in vacation-wise? Oh, there's so many different places I wanna go to. I obviously wanna go back to Vancouver because I was born there and visit my family. I wanna go to Toronto again because Toronto was great. I wanna go to New York. Uh, I want to go to Japan. I kinda wanna go to Korea as well. Um, there's so many different places I wanna go to. Oh, England, Europe, so many different places. Not enough money, but I'll get there in time. Lushroom asked, pineapples on pizza, yay or nay? Yay. Only if it's with ham on it. Uh, Sangarang underscore asked, what's one tech you can't live without? Laptop, computer, phone, or Pockies? Pockies? Like the snack? I'm not sure, I use my phone a lot, but I'm also at my computer a lot. I would probably say computer, because it gives me more functionality than phone. Fun Size for Life asked, did you ever think as a kid you were going to edit for JK and Gina? P.S. I respect what you do as an editor, thanks. I never thought I'd be editing for JK and Gina because I did not know who Gina was when I was younger. I barely knew who JK was um, back in high school with Tasty, but I didn't know them before that. So no, I never would have thought I'd be editing for them because I did not know that they existed at the time of my life. If you are inferring that I was a kid being between the ages of like 11 to when I was born. Yeah, I didn't know of JK. I didn't know of YouTube at that time. Push Pop Lock asked, would you rather lose a man ball <laughs> Man ball and have your voices pitch be slightly higher forever. Think of Morty's voice or have to chew a cup of all the JK Cruz toenails for a minute. I'm okay with uh, sounding with a high pitched voice all the time. I'd rather not have to chew on someone's toenails. That's really gross. Next question is uh, someone not important named Miss Gina Darling. Eh, whatever. Uh, it says, who's your favorite roomie and why is it me? Please answer in in a haiku. Thank you. It's not you for sure. Don't ever think that it is you. You are the worst roomie. Manu Fan Sufu on Twitter asks, do you ever see yourself collaborating with YouTubers other than the ones that work for JK? Um, as in terms of JK, I'm not sure uh, who they want to collaborate with if you're talking about like me working for JK in that sense. But as for myself, um, I don't know. It's just a matter of time before my channel keeps growing or if it ever happens, if I ever hit, you know, 5K, 10K, I don't know. But there are a couple YouTubers, just the, you know, tech YouTubers that I would really like to work with in the future, like TLD, Austin Evans, MKBHD, yeah, all those guys. Those are people who I would love to collaborate with. But right now, I am such a small channel, and they have so many other things going on that it wouldn't be beneficial for them to work with me. So, uh in time, we'll see. Those were all the questions that I could answer in this limited amount of time. Unfortunately, there are so many more questions that I really wanted to answer, 
but I will be doing another one of these videos in time, uh, maybe a couple months from now or so. But if you guys have questions for me, you guys can leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. If you guys like this video, like the video if you are not already this yeah. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.